Dash Poet Castles in the Sky I thought about time to write some froth Enough already of horror and gothic dimension Too much sadness going on So happy thoughts and simple pleasure now the order of the day Wahey and oops a daisy missus off we go to have some fun sing and shout and run about like silly things in springtime such as loopy lambs and randy rams the way that tadpoles tickle palms the butterflies that flutter by the beauty of their transience the chance to simply wonder at the budding, blooming marvel of the flowers in their warming beds that float their gorgeous, tilting heads to garner rays of life-affirming sunshine in its brilliance as it tracks the sky and teases shadows from the trees. It really is the knees of bees in my mind, rhyming with the best of all intention not to mention testicles of hounds and snigger like a child. I thought about time to write some froth, enough already grim and greystone. Give the dog a bone and watch it chase itself till nightfall, scratching pits and then forgetting where the whole thing had begun and moving on to lick its parts contentedly at first then ever more with agitated nips at tender bits a picture of contorted concentration at the job in poor then take a pause and turn its mind to dinner time delicious treats of jellied meat to gulp up quickly as voracious five-year-olds will fall upon the birthday cake and scoop up bowls of custard. Happy days when all is new, when in the moment life exists and everything is opportune, when dreams of flying to the stars or walking on the moon seem normal. I thought about time to write some froth, enough already misery and mayhem on the streets, a time to sink the mind into the pleasures and the lighter side of sponge cakes, fizz and cookies dipped in sugar by your grandma on the lawn, as older folk regale you with the tales of their beginnings as they slip into a stupor and then dribble down their chins contented they have played their part in bringing joy into your heart so warming cockles by the seaside digging buckets full of sand and building castles in the sky without the need to question why the procurator fiscal or the index of the markets should be down by more than 20 points or what on earth that means to you, and whether you should worry that the third or fourth tomato in the superstore seems slightly yellow. I thought about time to write some froth, enough already tears and sighs and sorrow, time to borrow images of frog and kissing princess dressed in flouncy gown and satin bows and little boy with wooden nose that grows and grows and grows. Then picture scenes from cartoon town where men ride horses upside down and carry nags upon their backs and feed themselves from sacks of field fresh oats and tin spaghetti hoops. And then remember they are late for race day at the county fair. Or maybe picture piles of perfect diamonds, biscuit-sized and full of dazzling light. 
and then, but only if the image tickles you, imagine tubs of cold-baked beans with someone else who sits and spends their day with juicy sauce up to their eyeballs. Or simply think about a joke that made you laugh out loud. Then form a picture in your mind of all the people in your life you love the most. Cook scrambled eggs and buttered toast and smile.